I just want to show you some of the beautiful weather that we're having in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, we get a good snow, I don't know, about once every four or five years where I live. And, uh, you know, obviously more towards mountains, but I thought I'd take this opportunity to show you uh, a piece of kit that I've had for a couple of years. I really, really like. And uh, I think uh, it's a good addition to anybody who enjoys winter sports. That's a pair of the uh, MSR. Uh, Evo Tour 22s. Alright, so these are the Evo Tour 22s. They, uh, they're 22 inches long, obviously. I actually have the, I'm going to step back here for a second. I have the uh, 6 inch flotation tails on the end. It get, just gives it a little bit more, uh, more flotation on the snow. Uh, when you buy them as they are, they are uh, they're good for up to 180 pounds. You buy these uh, flotation tails and you add, uh, add an extra uh, 70 pounds to Then they're good for 250. It's starting to some freezing rain right now, so I'll try to make this quick. But uh, these are made of an injected molded plastic. Uh, they have stainless steel crampons on the toe right here. Uh, they also have some stainless steel uh, teeth on, the, on each of the sides. They're also really easy to fit on. This strap right here just stays uh, stays the same always. Once you fit it to your foot, you'll just leave it there. Then you're going to uh, take this strap here, tighten it up. You'll take this little pin right here. You'll stick it in one of the holes on the strap. That's probably the most difficult part, especially when you're wearing gloves. Uh, and then you'll just put the little extra in a little clip right there. On the back of the boot, you take the strap, put it through uh, this hook right here, and you'll just pull as tight as you can. It'll catch, and you put the rest in this little strap right here, and you can adjust the, uh, sorry, this clip. You can adjust the clip depending on how much extra you have. Each of these uh, shoes weighs two pounds, uh, a little bit extra if you get the flotation uh, tails. One of the things I really like about this snowshoe is the heel lift. If you are climbing up a mountain or any kind of hill, you prop this up and now uh, your heel doesn't go all the way down. And this helps save a little bit of fatigue on your calf. There are three different shoes in the Evo line. Uh, you just have the Evo, the Evo Tour, and then the Evo Ascent. And um, these ones normally retail for about $170. I think they're on sale right now for $130 at REI. Um, but the Evo Ascent are $200, and I spent about 20 minutes. I had a, an Evo Tour and an Evo Ascent in my hands. The only difference that I could see between the two was this strap right here. The Evo Ascent have three thinner straps like this one that go across the top of your boot, and the Evo Tour, which is what I have here, just has this thick strap and then one other smaller strap to go uh, to go on top of your boot. To be honest, I, I like this one a little bit more and uh, it also saves you an extra 30 bucks. Uh, so I would definitely recommend the Tour over the Ascents. If you go for the lowest model in the Evo line, uh, it's going to be lacking your heel lift. And uh, for me, I take these out hunting and uh, so it's nice, you know, sometimes I'm having to climb up hills and it's nice to have this heel lift and it saves me a little bit of fatigue. Now, I only weigh 165 pounds, so these shoes as, as they come would have been perfect for me, uh, but I also take these out hunting or I'll take them out uh, snow camping, and so I'm usually got a, a backpack full of gear or my rifle, so it's nice to have a little bit of extra flotation over the snow. These flotation tails uh, cost about 50 bucks, um, but I think that they've been worth it. The extra extra length just helps you stay on top of the snow a little bit more. Definitely, if you're a, if you're a larger guy or gal, uh, over the 180 pound mark, then you're going to want to spend the extra money to get these flotation. Now, this is not a cheap uh, cheap 
set of equipment, uh, 170 bucks. But I would say, as far as snowshoes go, they're definitely worth it. Uh, you can get some at Costco, other places that are a lot cheaper, but uh, they'll break a lot sooner too. I wouldn't go as far as to say I'm an avid snowshoer, but uh, you know I, I've gone out a decent amount, and uh, I always feel like these are very solid, and I'm, I don't have to worry about them uh, failing on me. Uh, they also give quite a bit of support, and uh, I just I don't have to worry at all when I'm taking these out. I hope you've liked my video. I hope you're enjoying the weather as much as I am. Uh, please like and subscribe to my channel. You can also read my blog at gfo270.blogspot.com and uh, like us on Facebook at uh, facebook.com forward slash gfo270. Uh, and I'm hoping to upload more videos soon. Thank you very much.